I'm going to say August 30th, 2022. I try something different and so far I haven't found that you know that one thing that I really like I'm, I have a feeling it's gonna be like a really hard plasticky canoe or something because everything else fucking pops or is really hard to maneuver in the water it's like 55 degrees today so I'm wearing a sweater and I don't know where all my shit is, so I just gotta grab what I could find at the last minute. Still haven't organized my shit. My neighbor came over yesterday and gave us tons of herbs. They're already started too. Basil, parsley, oregano. kills itself because he knows I'm going to eat it. It's the best explanation I got for that. I woke up in the middle of the night last night laughing. It's so stupid. The dream I had last night was like This person, sorry, that sound you keep hearing is my, I have a little wind chime hanging in my, on my rear view mirror now, and it just bangs every time I move the car. Um, so my dream last night, there was like two 
different dreams. They were both so off the wall. Um, the one I woke up laughing to though was, we're in this like big hall or a theater or cathedral of some sort with a bunch of people. And the person on stage was supposedly a famous person, but I have never seen them before. I don't know who they are. And someone was like making a voice and she had to guess what character's voice that was. And she asked the woman to repeat the voice and she was like, <laughs> like, and the lady was like, can you repeat that please? And she was like, <laughs> and she was like, I can't quite make what she's saying. Can you say that again? And she'd be like, <laughs> Right? <laughs> and then she was like, wow, I, I don't, I can't understand. I don't know who that is. Um, is that so-and-so's character or whatever? And then finally when she gave up, um, because she thought for sure this person doesn't know what the fuck they're doing. The person that was holding the microphone was like, and this is actually the real voice of blah 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 but she was like in her 80s but she was actually the the person that voiced that cartoon character and I don't know if she was just so old she did it really really bad or if that that had to be what it was in my dream and so the the woman is like the 80 year old woman is like everyone's like oh my god and she's like, and she's crying, right? And then uh, she starts walking down to go like greet or hug because the announcer wants a hug or something. She starts walking down this long ass, sparkly like platform of some sort with stairs and stuff. She gets down there and she's wearing like this sequence sparkly um, shirt, pants, jacket outfit with these like fucking silver sequence platforms. They're like, it's totally like something Lady Gaga would be wearing, but this 80 year old woman is wearing this and I'm like, whoa, can she walk in this? So in the dream, I'm like in the audience or I'm watching her on TV or something. And I'm like, oh my God, she's gonna fall. Oh my God, she's gonna fall. And so she goes, she gives the announcer a hug and then she starts walking back along with some other contestants or people. And she's walking back and instead of like just walking up the stairs or just up the runway like everyone else, she walks alongside it and then realizes, oh shit, it's over there. And then she starts like crawling on the side of the stairs trying to get her foot over and everyone's like, whoa and then she finally makes it and everyone's like ah. <sighs> you know clapping and so she she gets up there and she's like you know all proud of herself and everyone's clapping and she's like trying to find her balance again but she's like she's slipping and I'm like oh my god she's gonna fall oh my god she's gonna fall oh my god she's gonna fall <laughs> and she slipped fell backwards but then flipped over off the other edge of the stairs and ended up just like, I couldn't even see her anymore. Like she fell off. And that's when I was like, ah, <laughs> and I woke up and I was like, <laughs> I was like, oh my God, did I just laugh out loud? Like that, I don't know why that was so hilarious to me. It was so funny. And then this other part of my dream has nothing to do with that part. Actually, there was two more dreams, but I'll say them while I can remember them because I usually forget them after a while I'm, if I don't talk about them. One of the dreams was this woman. I think I was the woman in the dream. I can't really tell. It kind of switches back and forth sometimes for me. But this woman um, was going to get her hair done. And the person doing everyone's hair was like really, really well known and really really good at doing hair and we were all like on a bus like a metro bus of some sort and she started doing this woman's hair 
and she had gotten to a point where she just like brushed it all down. It was really short. She brushed it to her head and then she got so busy with like seating everyone. She's like, okay, well, um, you'll be next. You sit in that booth and you sit in that booth and you sit in that booth. And then the woman was just standing there with her hair like all fucked up and slicked to her head, waiting for this woman to finish her hair because she was like halfway done. And then um, the woman was taking so long to seat people because so many people were showing up that a couple of people got up and left. And so she's like, oh great, well I have room for other people, right? And so she had like 10 people waiting for her to do their hair. And she wasn't even sure she was gonna get around to them, but here's this lady standing there with her hair like half done, like wondering when is she gonna get back to me? And so that lady just, she gets frustrated. I guess it was time for her to get off the bus. <laughs> And she just like goes like that with her hair. And then everyone looks around. They're like, oh, oh. and then they're like, it's beautiful. And I guess like underneath her hair, she had colored it like bright pink. And the pink was like going over the black. And the way she had done that, it was just like suddenly super styled. And they were like, oh, wow. And then the lady couldn't even see her hair. And she got off the bus. And then she sees her hair in the mirror and she's like, oh, it's beautiful. And she goes into this salon and she walks into the salon. Everyone in the salon turns around and they're like, oh, wow, your hair is gorgeous. And she's like, you know, and I just need some product for my hair. And then while the lady's looking for product for her hair, she slips and falls and then another woman comes next to her like the one working there to help pick her up and then falls down with her and then suddenly like all the products from the fucking shelf start falling on top of them and then I wake up and then <laughs> one more dream this one I don't really understand at all. I mean, I don't understand any of the fucking dreams, but this one, there was a couple kids and they were like in an apartment. The apartment was pretty high up, but you can see things happening outside. The, I'm not sure what the parents were doing, but the kids all wanted to go um, to this festival that they could see from their window. And they decide to go anyways. I don't know if they snuck out or not. And this is the dream I don't really remember very well. They end up losing each other in this building and suddenly no one can find the little boy. A lot more happened than that, but that is all I remember. So I'm back to dreaming, but at least they're not nightmares. They're kind of fun dreams. And I have no idea what they mean. Best I can think of is that, uh, Maybe I'm feeling like I'm really fucking up <laughs> with the decisions I'm making, but don't worry about it. Things are going to work out magically anyways, even though I don't see a way or that I don't know, I'm back to that. Maybe I feel like I'm too old and I'm acting too young and I'm making a fool of myself. But everyone's cheering me on anyways. Like, I have no idea.
but I slept pretty well last night. I finally just slept really good. And then my husband woke up this morning and called me and he's like, dude, did you know that the, the gas was locked on? The CO2 sensor was going off. And I was like, huh, no wonder I slept so good. 